how could be used in life in general, and I think I just tried to bring that into government. The first time I, I wrote a, I, I discovered that people were writing their own blogs, um, and they were putting them on websites, and people were commenting on it, and, I, and there was no barrier, like there was no gatekeeper. Anybody could publish something. And I just thought that was revolutionary, and the first time I published something, as soon as I published it, it was on a, on a very large political blog, uh, I immediately got feedback. I mean, their comments, they just started coming, and, uh, and I, you know, I just thought that was amazing. This is this is before this is before Facebook caught on. This is before Twitter, and uh, just from that from that, it, it, it was instantaneous. I realized the power there, and over the next couple of years, I I realized not only how you could use that, but but how it could be used in government, and uh, tried to bring that. I think that for me, um, it, what the experience I had with Facebook was probably specifically in the government too. I I was at um, the Washington Post, and I was working behind the scenes. I'd always been like a strategist or a writer or a producer, you know, somebody who didn't have their face out there. And I kept going into meetings and telling them about all these things that were happening in my community to the point they finally said, shut up, you're gonna write this in a blog. <laughs> and I was like, oh, no, 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 I don't go out in front. And they're like, and you're getting your picture on. Oh, and we're definitely not doing that either. And you know, I've got little kids and you know, Ugh. like, come on, you're gonna do this. And so they threw me over the wall and said, do this. And it was amazing, as, as Brandon said, the feedback, the community, the reaction, they what? They wanted to be heard. They wanted someone who got their sense of the way things were. And that's exactly where I feel like it is with government too, that once we, I'm working with program managers at different agencies who, once they get over that fear of putting their information out, once they get their, their knowledge base out there, they're completely shocked that the public cares about what they're doing and they get responses, they get people competing in challenges, they get people responding to blogs and it's this great enlightenment of, of communication and collaboration that is happening in ways that we could have never done this before. And it's a thrilling, thrilling space to be in. Well, one of the things I love about that is, and I had it up on one of the slides earlier, Mashable, which is arguably the, the most significant social media blog um, on the web now, selected two of NASA's tweets as um, in the top 10 list of most influential tweets of all time. One was the first live tweet out of space, um, which uh, was an astronaut from the International Space Station. And to be able to see that happen in real time, I think was, uh, for all of us, pretty exciting. The second was when the Mars Phoenix rover found ice on Mars. And they've been speaking in the voice of the rover, so it's a just found, Mar uh, just found ice on Mars. Best day ever. <laughs> Ostensibly, um, the three, four hundred million people on Twitter would have been able to see that in real time come through as uh, what, what a great way for an agency to share a, a milestone achievement um, with the general public. Why guess? People are willing to tell you what they think. <laughs> Why should we guess what people want or need or want to learn? Use the channel. And that was my biggest thing, especially going from a, more of a traditional media background into more of the social media background is we're, we're in these conference rooms saying, I think our readers want X, Y, and Z, and so they're like, no, they want this. I'm like, we can ask them now. Why aren't we doing that? Why don't we give people what they want? And I think that was kind of the moment for me of, people want to be heard, your world gets bigger, you get smarter, why not There are over 23 million American veterans. Only 8 million are currently enrolled in VA. Uh, and if you talk to veterans, a lot of them don't even know they're eligible for things. They don't know how to get enrolled, they don't know how to get the GI Bill, they don't know, they have no idea what a, what a home loan is uh, for VA. And so we have to reach that other 16 million veterans. We know they're on Facebook, we know they're on Twitter, and so we focus on pushing that information out. Now I, I personally, I think that we have to be good at distributing the information before we can become good at incorporating feedback. So we focused up front initially on getting the information out, um, and now we have focus on looking at trends and the feedback we get, looking at uh, basically everything we get from across the department on Facebook and Twitter, uh, and looking at what the topics are that people are talking about, what they're most sensitive to, and we're taking that information and we're able to divvy it up and sort it and give it to the right subject matter experts within the department. 
and to the veterans all the time. Um, we get a lot of suicidal ideation on our social media sites uh, where people will express uh, that they're not in such a great place on Facebook and Twitter. And we've got a good relationship with our suicide prevention office so that whenever somebody comes on Facebook and they say they're thinking about killing themselves, we can jump in immediately and we can respond and we can get them the care they need um, that they otherwise would not be able to provide as effectively or as efficiently without social media. So for us, that's one of our, our most concrete examples that I can give of how, how using these tools has made a difference in the lives of our constituents. So And um, how do you measure ROI? What are the metrics? Um, much of the research has shown that ROI continues to be the biggest challenge that um, agencies are facing as they're trying to figure out how to... It can be worked out. The ROI, I think, is the measuring is critical. That when you are looking at your outreach initiatives, that you've got to have someone looking at all of your social media and seeing what times of day are you getting the hits, are you getting the retweets, where regionally are people coming from, um, if there's any kind of communication and response feedback where they're coming with questions or they're adding something to your message and sharing it with their friends, to really have you know, the keyword, um, the sentiment, the uh, just hard metrics, numbers of what's happening. Are you increasing your followers? Are you seeing something else happening? Or are you seeing more hits on your, if you set up social media, are you seeing more hits on your webpage? And collecting these gra these demographics and, and all the metrics is getting more and more difficult. You, know, you can use your Google Analytics or your measured voice or your, um, you know, whatever tools you're using to measure, then there's a new organization called ohmygov.com that's out trying to measure social media. Everyone's kind of trying to get into this space right now, but there's no one Uber collective that we can see. Now, as far as return on investment goes, uh, we can measure our reach much better than we can measure our impact. Uh, we're, we're very good, we're very meticulous about measuring our reach and our, uh, like our growth rate. We measure our growth rate on social media against other cabinet level agencies, against veterans organizations, um, against other organizations within VA and we're very detail-oriented about it. And so I know that there is a growing demand for what we're doing. So that makes me think that we're doing well. What we want to get to the point where we can do is measure impact. How many people did I help get enrolled in the GI Bill through Twitter? How many people did I, how many people did I help get enrolled in healthcare through Facebook um, that otherwise would not have gotten enrolled if they had not had the social media?